We have been continuously getting rumors or not rumors rather, but hints as to the bills and OBJ both mutually wanting to be, I, I don't know, they mutually come together, so to speak. So, you know, last week we see Andre Reed post an Instagram picture with OBJ, right? And he comes out and says, uh, you know, we had a great talk last night in Atlantic city would be great to see OBJ in, in the red, white, and blue or whatever. And everybody's like, okay, you know, and I know for me, Andre Reed is somebody out of the Bills organization I will listen to probably a bit more than some others, right? He's a legend, especially at the position in which he's talking about that particular player. So that piqued my interest. But then it got more interesting today, especially between Von Miller and Odell Beckham. This is over the last two days. And the reason I bring this up is because oftentimes these things don't turn into anything. But I do enjoy watching what Buffalo has become where you see these elite veterans do this, right? You see these elite veterans try and go back and forth to get people to Buffalo. It's just one of those things you could have never imagined. Now you have Von Miller and they're trading exchanges as to uh, as to get as to whether or not OBJ should come to Buffalo, OBJ seems like he would want to be a part uh, of what's going on in Buffalo as well. Now, granted, who could blame him? So this is what happened. Let's go over here and take a look. So uh, this was the first, or this was the first exchange right here. So as you can see over on the Buffalo Fanatics uh, Instagram page, if you're not following that already, make sure to do so because uh, Bobby the main man, the Instagram guy, he is constantly putting out great stuff like this. So Von Miller posts an Instagram picture and OBJ uh, comments on it. And OBJ says, you Ben lit. What's the locker next to you look like? There's not much, there's not much to read between there folks. So now I'm piecing this together with the Andre Reed picture. And he's saying, what's the locker next to you look like? Now, I've always wondered this. Do these players actually have any desire to, to follow up on these social media posts they put out? Or do they, well and, do they well and good know that what they're doing gets everybody riled up? I think it's a mix of both, but it's probably more of the latter, right? I mean, imagine it's kind of like Elon Musk with the Dogecoin thing there. I mean, every time Eli, Elon Musk tweeted about Dogecoin, the, uh, the stock price of it went up like 200%. Imagine having that power. Couple of taps, tweet, and you just send things into an absolute blizzard. This is the equivalent of that in the sports world. Von Miller posts a picture. OBJ says, what's the locker next to you look like? You got me and everybody else talking about it. Boom, it's over, right? But then Von Miller takes it a step further. Von Miller takes this edit of OBJ in a Bills uni, Posts it on his story and tags Odell in it and says, let's chase this ring again. Now, granted, I look at this. I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. And I see a lot of comments coming in here, right? And Gabe, we trust. Gabe, I'm hearing a lot of great things about Kair Elam or, or, or excuse me, Khalil Shakir already. We do have Jamison Crowder, who we're barely hearing anything about just because of this wide receiver room being so loaded. I don't think it's a matter of whether or not we need OBJ. You just have to consider whether or not the Bills think that he can take them to another level later on in the season. He suffered an ACL tear in the Super Bowl. He will not be ready to go for some time. Going to have Thigh Doc come on here in a minute and explain. But when you do take a look at the situation in totality, the Rams last year really didn't need Odell. Yes, Robert Woods went down, but they were still playing on offense tr tremendously well. Odell comes in. And, you know, it wasn't like it was a lights out success story uh, off the bat, really in general, but he does come in and score a touchdown in the Super Bowl. And that ultimately wound up being a major difference in the game. So you don't look at it and say, oh, the Bills, do the Bills really need them? Do you really want them? At the end of the day, I look at it and I take away two things. One, I think it's really cool that you have, you know, superstars in Von Miller and OBJ going back and forth talking about coming to Buffalo. I just think that's great. Two, I look at it from the perspective, okay, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just went and got Julio Jones. Do they necessarily need Julio Jones? Probably not. The same situation with the Rams last year. Did they need OBJ? Probably not. I think it just shows you the Bills are at the point where they are this close, right? 
They are such a hair away from the Super Bowl that these type of scenarios bring themselves to the spotlight because that's exactly what happened with the Rams last year. I think that's exactly why Julio Jones decided to join the Bucs this year. And I think that would ultimately be the exact reason why if Odell chooses to join another team outside of the Rams, which by the way, I still think he has the best opportunity out of all the teams that he potentially could play for this coming season. I still think that it will be uh, the Rams that he sticks with. And I don't see why he wouldn't really. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much sense it would make for him to just hop around the league the way he has been uh, and just go year one year here, one year there. He's still got tread on the tires if he can get healthy, but it does make you wonder. It does make you wonder. So in a little bit, if this happens, because listen, I, I wouldn't talk about it if it wasn't constantly being put in our face. So there's potential here, whether it's, you know, this much or this much, there's still potential. Thigh doc will come on in a little bit. Talk about, hey, if the bills do, if the bills do bring OBJ in, will he be healthy? And when potentially could he make an impact for the bills? Interesting stuff. And like I said last week, you know, OBJ, I'm not a huge fan of him. Truth be told, really not a big OBJ guy, never have been, and I don't think I ever will be. But I have come around to situations like this. I have. Just because you look at what gets what it, it takes to get it done in the league now and how you have to add pieces like this. You also look at the fact that when you are reaching a certain point in a franchise, as far as levels are concerned, this is the stuff that happens. And I'm all for it. I mean, think about the offseason here. Every single veteran that hit the block, whether it was this offseason or last offseason, we, we, had, we had a theory, right? You know, for a while it was J.J. Watt. There were multiple running backs we were talking about. Christian McCaffrey was a hot subject for a long time. So this is just another one of those things. But out of all of those scenarios that we had running through our heads the last couple of, uh, couple of years, this one, as far as social media is concerned, definitely has been the most, like, in your face. But I do wonder... Do these guys just text back and forth and be like, hey, watch this. I'm going to post you on the story. Bill's Mafia is going to go absolutely nuts. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, pro athletes get bored too. They got to find a way to have fun. And they can't necessarily go on online and troll like some people were doing to Cole Beasley earlier. So maybe this is their way of having fun on social media. I'm not quite sure, but it's something. 